Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and it looks like my season two has come in. I'm not sure what shape it's in, but at least it's packaged well. It took it forever to get here, being the holiday season, but they look like Amazon looked like they at least tried to package it well with this box with the sides that kind of puff out that kind of protect the corners. I don't know how good of a job they did, but we're gonna open it up and find out. We can do so without damaging it. As I always handle these things like they're kids, like I've got kids gloves on. All right. And here we go. And it looks on initial impression to be fine. Uh, this is a beefy boy. As other people have said, this is a big boy. Um, Looks really good. There's that little bit there, but I think it. I think it was. I think that's a manufacturing thing, and that's fine. It's not a big deal. Got that beautiful art right there. These stories that are on the season. Nine stories this season. It's a big one. The biggest box set, and the bonuses. Not quite as many bonuses, but a lot of money probably went into the restoration work. Plus, just a lot of people who were involved with the show. Uh, back then, sadly, are not with us anymore. Um, good art there. Look at that beefy boy. Ooh. You know, I didn't originally like that look, that shot, but it has grown on me. It really has grown on me. I love the use of blue. Uh, the villains from the ceiling. From the ceiling. From the season. Yeah. Looking good on there. The Zarbi and the Monoptra, we have both. I do love that effect from the intro right there. And then, of course, the uh, the spine again. This is a beefy, beefy boy. Let's see if we can get it open real quick. Attempt to get it open without damaging it, which is uh, easier said than done. With these, you have to be really careful with them. I think I'll... Uh, just use Jason's uh, uh, secret weapon. Zip out a fingernail. The fingernail seems to work better than the scissors. Uh, almost got it. There we go. All right, now let's really get a good look here. There is a slight little mark here. It's very slight, and it's not on the side that's going to be showing anyway. The rest of the set looks fine. I think I lucked out and got one in good shape. Even my corners are good. That was good packaging. I'll give Amazon that. They, they did really good packaging this time. Pull it out of its J-card. Ooh. Pull that J-card right out of the way there, and we have... Some beautiful art right here. That looks really good. Really, really good. And of course, I believe this is from The Chase, which I haven't seen yet, but I believe that's what that's from. The artwork looks really good there. I love the detail. Love the detail. Of course we have, I like how the art for the disc on this one's a lot more basic you know, kind of going back to the black and white uh, look of the show. It's like the further you get into the box set, you know, the less color, the more black and white it is. I like that, which I think I remember Lee saying was his intent when he was working on it. It's a little hard to get to the uh, disc trays. Dalek yeah, like Invasion of Earth. The Rescue... Romans. I like the Romans. The Web Planet. Ugh, the Web Planet. The Crusade, which I've never seen, even though I know uh, it's only half complete. Um, the Space Museum, which I haven't seen. The Chase, which I haven't seen. And then the Time Meddler, which I'm looking forward to seeing that restoration of the Time Warrior. And I like... Ooh, set that down right there. I like that art right there. That's some nice looking art. My tray's kind of unstick a little. 
but it is a massive box set, so that's understandable. I can always glue that back in later, and it's only partially trying to unstick. Actually, I think it's trying to completely come loose, but it's a thick tray, so it's not a big deal. But that is some great looking art. I really like that art. Yeah, that's a thick set, so I'm not surprised about the uh, tray trying to come undone. But I can get a little bit of glue and fix that up later. That's not the end of the world as we know it. That art looks good right there, as does the art from the booklet. The little bonus stuff we can throw away. Of course, the booklet has some really nice black and white art right there. I like the fact this is all in black and white right here. That's really cool. A lot of companions this season. And of course, the shot of the TARDIS, which is actually in color. I think I would have rather it in black and white, but it still looks really, really good. Really, really impressive. Lee always does good work with these. Oh yeah, it's quite the impressive set. Quite the impressive set. It's a big boy. Let's get the J card back on it. And then we'll, uh, just to show kind of how big this boy is, let's bring in season 12, put them next to each other. Just look at the difference in thickness there. Season 12, of course, is one of the smaller ones. But just look at how much thicker season 2 is than season 12. That is a massive difference because uh, this of course i believe is six disc and this is nine disc so you have you know half again as many disc but yeah i'm really excited i'm looking forward to giving some of these a watch and getting some videos up if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to uh click the like button and the subscribe button and uh check out my patreon it's down in the comments below as is a link to my amazon wish list and my p.o box if there's anything you would like to send i want to give a shout out to uh, all of my patrons, I appreciate their continued support, especially my uh, my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane and Colin Coney and uh, Dr. Perkins. All of y'all, I very much appreciate y'all. Most importantly, thank you for watching.